في حديثه مع الشرق قال مستشار الأمن الأمريكي الأسبق جون بولتون إن تصريحات وزير الدفاع الروسي تعد خطأ كبيرا وأن أي اعتداء روسي على المساعدة العسكرية سيتبعه رد من الحلف Russian aggression into Ukraine. It's defensive to help the Ukrainian people defend their own civilian population. Uh, and in that sense, it would be a big mistake if what this statement by the Russian defense minister means is that NATO assistance could be attacked uh, in NATO countries, because if that were the case, uh, I think NATO would almost certainly retaliate against Russia. Uh, and I think the Russians need to be very careful here, much more careful than they've been before uh, in their targeting uh, in this war to begin with, given the number of Ukrainian civilians who have been killed. وأضاف بولتون أن وقوع أي اعتداء من قبل روسيا على الأراضي التابعة لحلف الناتو يهدد بحرب أكبر على روسيا، الأمر الذي يضع عبء تجنب الأمر على موسكو وحدها. I think if if uh, if NATO territory were attacked by the Russians, there would be a NATO response. You know, in the entire history of NATO, uh, over 70 years now, neither the Soviets nor the Russians have ever uh, crossed the NATO border. And if they were to do that uh, with military weapons or, or anything else like that, uh, I feel certain that NATO would respond. And then we would risk a larger war in Europe. So the burden here, it seems to me, is entirely on Russia to avoid that. This, this act of aggression was totally unprovoked. Uh, they were illegally in Ukrainian territory after the 2014 invasion, and, and now they've made it worse. And that's one reason why uh, Russia has been so isolated uh, economically and politically. Of course, Russia would say if only the West would stop aiding Ukraine, the war would be brought uh, to, a, to a, a quicker conclusion through a Russian victory uh, by rewarding this aggression uh, that would simply give Russia and other rogue states around the world uh, license to commit the same kind of aggression.